Hi friends, I am Rajesh. Welcome to my channel, Rajesh Max Class. Today, I am going to prove third corollary of the Archimedean property. Third corollary of the Archimedean property. Already we had discussed the first corollary and second corollary of the Archimedean property in my previous class. The link of my previous class is there in my description box. Today, we are going to prove third corollary of the Archimedean property. Corollary 3. Corollary 3. Corollary 3. The statement is if x is a positive real number, then there exists, then there exists, then there exists, nx belongs to capital N such that, such that nx minus 1 less than or equals x less than nx. Clear. If x is a positive real number, then the x is nx belongs to n. Then the x is a natural number such that nx minus 1 less than or is equal to less than or equals x strictly less than nx. Clear? Oh, proof. Here, given x is a positive real number x is a positive real number clear we define a set corresponding to this positive real number x we denote it by mx 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 equals it is defined by mx equals set of all small m belongs to capital N such that x less than m x less than m clear we define mx equals mx equals set of all small m belongs to capital N such that x less than m here capital N is the set of all natural numbers capital N is the set of all set of all natural numbers set of all natural numbers set of all natural numbers clear so mx equals set of all m belongs to capital N such that x less than m that means mx is the set of natural numbers greater than x mx is the set of natural numbers greater than x clear from this definition we can write mx subset n mx subset n clear mx is a subset of mx is a subset of set of natural numbers mx is a subset of set of natural numbers clear also we can say that mx is non-empty mx is non-empty mx is non-empty for this we will use the Archimedean property we will use the Archimedean property Archimedean property Archimedean property of R Archimedean property of R. Archimedean property of R. The statement is if x belongs to R, that is x is, a, x is any real number, then there exists, then there exists, then there exists nx, then there exists nx belongs to capital N such that such that x less than nx x less than nx this is the Archimedean property of R if you take any real number then there exists a natural number nx corresponding to this real number such that x less than nx x less than nx this is the Archimedean property of R Archimedean property of R clear? in our case x is a positive real number then surely we can find a natural number greater than x 
by using Archimedean property. Clear? So, we can say that Mx is a non empty subset of N. Mx is a non empty subset of N. Clear? Mx is a non empty subset of N. Because here, small x is a positive real number. Then, by Archimedean property, we can find a natural number greater than x. Greater than x. So, mx is a non empty subset of capital N. mx is a non empty subset of capital N. Here we can write mx is non empty. mx not equals 5. mx not equals 5. Clear? Okay. Next, we will use well ordering property of N. Well ordering property of capital N. Well ordering property of N. Well ordering property. Well ordering property. Well ordering property of N. The property is every every non empty every non empty every non empty subset of n every non empty subset of n every non empty subset of n has has a least element has a least element has a least element clear this is the well ordering property of capital n well ordering property of capital n that is every non empty subset of n has a least element has a least element has a least element clear well ordering property of n every non empty subset of n has a least element clear here mx mx is a non empty subset of n mx is a non empty subset of n then mx has mx has a least element by the well ordering property of n clear by the well ordering property of n mx has a least element by the well ordering property of n this element we can denote it by nx 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 clear nx nx is the least element in mx nx nx is the nx is the least element least element least element in capital mx capital mx by the well order property of capital n clear well order property of capital nx is the least element in mx so here we can write nx nx is the nx is the least element nx nx is the least element in capital x clear nx is the least element in capital x clear nx is the least element in capital x that means nx is an element in capital x nx is an element in capital x nx is an element an element in capital x therefore we have x less than x less than nx x less than nx we can write x less than nx what is the reason every element in mx every element in mx is greater than x every element in mx is greater than x here nx is an element in mx so nx is greater than x nx is greater than x clear ok so this is our first point x less than nx first result okay and next is the least element in mx by the well ordering property so nx is an element in mx then we can write x less than nx because every element in mx every element in mx is greater than x so nx is greater than x this is our this is our first point next nx is the least element in mx nx is the least element in mx then surely we can say that nx minus 1 nx minus 1 is not an element not an element 
in Mx. Nx minus 1 is not an element in Mx because Nx is the least element in Mx. Nx is the least element in Mx. Clear? So Nx minus 1 is not an element in Mx. Clear? If Nx minus 1 is an element in Mx, then Nx minus 1 greater than x. Nx minus 1 is greater than x. Clear? Once again, if Nx minus 1 is an element in Mx, then Nx minus 1 is greater than x. But here, Nx minus 1 is not an element in Mx. So, Nx minus 1 is not greater than x. Nx minus 1 is not greater than x. That means Nx minus 1 is Nx minus 1 is less than or is equal to x. Clear? Nx minus 1 is not an element in Mx. So, Nx minus 1 is not greater than x. Clear? That means Nx minus 1 is less than or is equal to x. This is the second point. Second result. Clear? We combine these two results. We have, first we write, first we write the second result. That means Nx minus 1 less than or is equal to x. Next we write, x less than nx. x less than nx. Clear? So we get nx minus 1 less than or is equal to x less than nx. Clear? That means if x is any positive real number, if x is a positive real number, then there exists a natural number nx such that nx minus 1 less than or is equal to x less than nx. Clear? Okay. So I hope you have enjoyed my class. Thank you.